investigation is underway into whether or not General Motors acted quickly enough in a recall of nearly 1.4 of its cars. Here to talk more about it is KUSI's car expert Dave Stahl. Good morning to you. Well, good morning to you as so this well. This is quite serious. You know, they're recalling it, a lot, and tell us exactly what the recall is over. It's very, very, very serious, and it's a really, it's a, it's a bad situation all the way around. I used to be a service manager for 30 years, so I'm totally mm -hmm. aware of what we're doing here. This ignition system problem is, is not new. This happened back in the 70s and the 80s. The problem then is if you had a key ring, and I don't know if our camera guy can take a peek at this. Yeah, he's got it. But when you see keys this big, and the test on this is you grab a key, and this is an ignition key, and I took this off and somebody, the, you hang on to it. If you could hang on to it, but the weight, just feel the weight. Feel the weight oh, yeah, on that. Yeah, that's heavy. So what yeah. happened back in the day is that you'd hit a bump or what have you, and the ignition key would engage the starter. Mm -hmm. Well, you're doing 60 miles an hour. It'll literally blow, blow the, the starter engine. out, take a chunk out of the block. So that mm -hmm. was a bad thing. They redesigned the ignition switch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we have an ignition switch where using the same thing, and I have to say, I walked around the whole KUSI staff, and I only found one person, and it wasn't a KUSI staff, that had a bad, what I call a bad key ring. Mm -hmm. This was a guest that's going to be coming mm -hmm. on later uh -oh. on. Because I tell everybody. I used to tell them all the time. So now we have a situation. Now we have fatalities. We have major issues. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't something like you had a gas leak on every car. I mm -hmm. mean, you've got 3 million cars that are being recalled, and we're going to have numbers and phone numbers and lists of cars that are that are affected. They haven't released the VIN numbers yet. Mm -hmm. okay? General Motors has to go through their whole 3.3 million vehicles to decide which ones are gonna get the recall mm -hmm. and which ones aren't. My recommendation is until such time as that recall comes out, if you happen to own a Cobalt, a Solstice, uh, an HHR, any of those types of vehicles, then knock your key ring down. Yeah. Say, for example. Well, why hasn't GM just released a statement saying, hey, be smart when it comes to key rings and don't put more than five keys on one key ring. Well, believe it or not, it's been the mantra forever. Mm -hmm. Every dealer I ever worked for, and I worked for about eight of them in this town, that was one of our things that we would tell people when they would come in the service drive. This is your ignition and trunk key. Mm -hmm. If you want to keep it, because I have ladies tell me all the time, well, yeah, but then I dropped this in my in my purse. I can't find it. Yeah. I go, well, I totally agree with you, lady. I, I understand. But they have these little things called carabines. I mean, they don't weigh anything. Uh -huh. You can pick them up for a buck and a quarter at any of your hardware right. stores. Lock it on there. Latch it on the. Uh, I put it on my belt loop. Mm -hmm. Put it on your on your uh, on your purse. That's okay. It's not very so stylish though. No, I know. Well, we'll get some design ones. <laughs> the ladies are going to wear those. But here's the thing. What are we going to do today? What are we going to do now until we yeah. resolve this situation? Well, the first thing you do, da down downgrade your key key mm -hmm. ring. You know, if you need something to, that you can find it in your purse, go go to uh, Toys R Us and get one of those big plastic toy rings. Mm -hmm. Book it on there. The main thing is just be aware. The other thing too is how many times have you taken your car out into a large, say Qualcomm, drove it and turned the key off just to see what would happen? Never. Never. But you should. If you have children, take them to the, yeah, I know Qualcomm says you can't do driving, but that's not driving school. That's showing a child or somebody what happens when you turn the key off because the steering goes away, the brakes get harder. It doesn't totally lock the Well, if you're going 50, 60 miles an hour and you do that. But, I mean, at least if you do it dangerous. in a parking lot, you yeah. know what to be prepared for. That's my issue on it. And it's just lack of education. Mm -hmm. And all of these incidents that we've had, you know, are all going to be investigated. And they're going to decide what caused what. So many cars are computerized these days. Could something like that happen? Oh, yeah. Well, not only that. See, the biggest thing is the airbag is not hot-wired to the vehicle when the engine is turned off. So consequently, when the engine's off, if you were, and I'm sure the manufacturer's thinking, why would anybody be going down the freeway with their engine off? I right. mean, that makes no sense to them. But it could happen. But I used to say all the time, manufacturers test these vehicles millions and millions and millions and millions of miles. But nobody tests a vehicle better than you. Mm -hmm. If there's going to be something weird coming out, the general public is going to be coming into the door saying, hey, this is the situation. All right, we've got to wrap things up All really, right. really quick. Do you know when they're going to release those VIN numbers? Those VIN numbers will probably be released in another, I'd say another week, week and a half. But okay. the key is if, if, if you service with a dealer, they already have your information. Mm -hmm. If you've never serviced with a dealer and you have some of these older cars, even the Saturns, just like I said, lighten your kilo down. Yeah, the the media will definitely keep you abreast of okay. what's going on. Sounds good. Dave right, Stahl, thanks so much.